Hi friends, you welcome to this presentation. This is Raisin. In this presentation, we will be considering modeling analysis and design of this structure. All right. This is a G plus two floors and a paint floor. This side we have the paint floor right away. Okay. And the foundations we are going to be considering raft on the foundations for this design successfully because of the soil conditions of the construction site. Alright, so stay tuned. Like the lesson and if you are yet to subscribe, subscribe and stay connected. Let us get started. I will open the plant in the autocad. I have this added plants. Okay. And so I will be leaving this plan in the description of this video so you can use the practice as well. Alright, so this is the elevations of the structure we are about to carry out the structural analysis. And this is it, side plans. Okay, so it is a really nice project. Alright, so I have already cut a panel successfully. Okay, and you can see. But my green lens has been in place as well as my column positions. So I will be saving this separately from this other one so I can be able to export it to total structure of 2021 because we will be using total structure of 2021 to carry out the design successfully. I'll get all the floor plans highlighted just like this. Which I will press W on the keyboard, enter, and my section unit is millimeter. So I will click on these three dotted provisions to navigate to where I will save this project. So I will be saving this to the desktop. Press L T in the desktop in DSF format. You can see it, DSF format, right? I'll click on save and okay. So the project is set to the desktop, so I have to minimize this and launch it. This is it, so I will double click to launch it. Alright, so after launching it, I want to take this to the origin of the universal coordinate system. Alright, so I will try to locate the origin, and to locate the origin, I will you just have to type N on the keyboard, enter. 0, comma, 0, and then enter, and then just click, then try to zoom it out, and you will see that this is the origin, and this is where the plant is. And if you do not locate and move this plant to the origin, you will notice that when it's, once you export this plant to Prota, structure 2021, you will not be able to see it. So what you just need to do now is, I like this plant, and on the keyboard for move, and take this plant to the origin. Just like this, you can place it here. Just like this. Then for this line, I have to just delete it. Use it to look at the origin. So here is the plant now. At the origin of the universal coordinate system. Alright. So with this now we want to reset this plant again in that same name. So what we need to do is we will go to save us. And then we click on uh, save. Alright, so we will navigate to the AutoCAD. 2013 DSF plan. Not this one, we will use this one. This is the plan. This one, so we select and set. Yes, to replace the existing one. After which, we just have to close this dialog. Do not save. Say no. Alright, so you minimize this. This time we'll launch Prota Structure 2021. So we we'll right click and we we'll launch it. On this interface, click on the new. We give this project a name. And we just have to call this project M ROPP. Right? M ROPP. Right? Then for the code, I will be using UK Euro codes. Click on OK. Alright, so this is the Protastructure 2021 main interface. So in this main interface, 
Ah oui, là, vous êtes DSF Import, on a deux de cette entente aussi, DSF Import, vous cliquez right there. In this provisions, you just have to reset layers assignment. Click on that to reset, to reset the layers assignment. After which, you make sure that the import type, what we, you are importing is Flockman. If you come to this provision, you can see physical, 3D physical model and 3D analytical model. Alright, but in this case, we are importing plan. Alright, so you load the DSF file. Click right there. And then to navigate to the desktop. On the desktop, you will get the file. Mr. P, this one. Click on OK. And uncheck wall because we don't have wall in that structure. Right? On our grid lines. And then we have columns. So click on input. The input is completed. So click on close. So this is the setup. Right? If you want to edit the grid lines, you can do that. At ease by selecting all of these grid lines, right click and click on the property. In the property, here yeah, you can be, can be able to edit the grid line successfully. But we are not going to do that. Alright? So, we have done the import successfully. We are going to start placing our structural elements. At first, we go to the modeling tab. Click on the B. So, we will cost you 55 by 55. 55 by 450 build section right for the end release conditions we will do that after we have placed all the game successfully all right so we start to assign the games we'll pick this point and that point So you just have to continue to place the beam successfully just like this. For these provisions we have a beam and then we have another beam here. We have another one there. Then there is a beam that runs through these provisions and then we have one that runs through this. And this one, this one connect to this, and this one connects here. There's another beam here, and there's another one here, right? After which, we we'll need to have another one here. All right, so this is the beam set out for this structure. This is the first floor beam layout, all right. So we want to be uh, providing anchorage and as well as release at the ends of the beam. So for us to do that successfully, we have to select this beam. You see this beam, particular beam, is uh, continuous. This continuous towards the right hand side and this continuous towards the left hand side. So the left hand side needs to be anchored to the columns. All right. So this same, this same one, we have to hold the control key to select all the beams that are to be anchored in the same direction so you can just anchor all at once all right just like this okay like this like this one you can check every other ones that will be anchored at the left hand side okay i think this was now so right click come to this provisions objects beam and conditions we are going to the left so click right there applied it to selected beam so you can see all are being anchored successfully Again, in the vertical directions, select all the beams like this one I selected is discontinuous towards the downward uh, directions, and then it is continuous towards the downward directions and the continuous towards the upward uh, directions. So we are going to anchor it to the column. Same thing applicable to this one. So get that selected. Same thing applicable to this. Same thing applicable to this. To this one. So we come down to check if there's other beams. 
here that needs to be anchored this one needs to be anchored as well so right click and then uh, we we'll select inch at right and okay apply that it's applied successfully so for this beam both sides is discontinuous so you just have to hold the control key and select all the beams that both sides is discontinuous both sides is discontinuous i think it's only this uh, four beams all right so you just have to right click and then the right inch at both sides all right so this one right side is continuous right side is continuous right side is continuous maybe that one so get all of that selected all right then this one all right so the inch for the right hand side apply for selected beams just like that then for the these beams going downward directions they are discontinuous so get all that selected all right just like this right click and it's deep and cut now okay so after you must have done this what you need to do now you this position is for our staircase okay this position is for our staircase so after you must have done all of this you will just have to add the load the wall load the wall load is being calculated based on the unit weight of blocks so the unit weight of block we are considering is the 9 inches block which is 25 blocks so the unit weight is 3.47 uh, all right so we select the first beam right there right click and then we will click on edit wall load this one so in this provisions edit wall load dialog we have wall unit weight so we impute 3.47 km per square meter the height of the structure we are going to be considering is 3 meter all right so the thickness of the the thickness of the wall is nine inches which is two to five just like this all right so the walls now i will be providing openings for the walls so you click on edit openings and then add openings okay just like this so we will be having in the width we will be having 1.2 window size and height is going to be uh 900 instead of 1000 all right okay not in that provisions we are 1.2 by 1.2 in that provisions okay then the height is 900 which is the window city okay all right so just like this uh, we need to centralize this okay so you can change this to 1300 just like this okay this is nice click on ok and okay again so this beam now is loaded we will copy this uh big wall load so you alight right click and then select copy wall load after which we navigate to the structural three panels expand the beam select the first beam hold the shift key select the last beam to get all the beam selected just like this right click and then we will paste the copied beam load set yes option yes option so it is best successful now this particular beam this one does not does not have a wall load on it okay so we select that and then we delete the wall load because it is a load non-load bearing beam this one right so after which we will be placing the solid slab so navigate to the modeling tab select slab right there in the 
slab then off the thickness of the slab will be over 50 okay the concrete copper is 25 and then you go straight away to dry away out of the loadings okay additional dead load is 2.0 km per square meter the improved load this is a special structure all right one point five okay after which we will not add a snow load all right but we need add that at the roof level if need be okay so we just load this slab successfully just like this okay all right so over here we are having a cantilever here so what we will do is we will use the same uh, we may not necessarily put because it's not a full uh it's not a full cantilever so we will consider another instruction point so we can start a slot here okay so we click on these provisions we will use eight points we will start slab here so we will pick the first point pick the second point pick the third point and the fourth point and we will get the slab exactly Okay, up we can clean. Alright, this position is for the staircase. Alright. So at the second level we have an extension here, the columns here. Yeah? That is carrying by a cantilever beam. Okay, I take it to the roof. So we close this and now we want to set the story. Okay. So I will have to minimize this, minimize this, select this uh, stories, right click and then click on the insert stories. I will first of all insert two story. Okay. So after inserting two stories, I will go back to stories, edit the stories. The first story is 3 meter, the second story is also 3 meter for the foundations. The foundation uh, depth, we are going to be considering 1,300 for the foundation depth, all right? So like this, it's okay. The structural system is ROCC. Don't forget, if you are, if you are analyzing state, you have to select it here, okay? After which, click on <coughs> okay. Now we get to the story one, right? And we are going to we are going to generate this from story one to story two. So click on the stories, right click, generate stories. This is the source story. That the story is story two. We get that selected successfully and click on OK. The process is completed. Close options. This has been generated and here is story two. So this story two we are having a cantilever beam here, cantilever beam here, okay? So what we need to do is we are going to click on the beam with the section. Uh, close this, we will use the property of this beam to do that, okay? The same property, but uh, the engine, we are going to remove all of the engine, okay? So this is a cantilever beam, you can see the cantilever sign there. This one is also a cantilever beam, and this is also a beam that connects and forms this stairway. So we have to collect, close that, delete this particular one, just like this. Then copy the beam wall load, and then we need to paste it in this beam. This one, this one, and this one. Alright, so after which we have to set stories again. This time around, this is the second floor. Alright, we need an uh, additional two stories, which is four stories, right? I click and then click on insert stories. And then we have up to three stories again. Alright. So now we get the story two. And click on that and then we have to generate story generate from story 2 to story 3 just like this and click on okay. close that and we get to the 2d let's see what we got so far so this is what we have done so far right this is the first floor this is the second floor this is the roof floor then what we need to do now is the pen floor for the pen floors, for the pen floors, let us navigate to <coughs> let us navigate to the plan view. So the area we are considering for the pen floor is this area. All of this area we consider it for the pen floor. And we need a column here. Okay. 
Oh, there's no problem here. I need a problem here. So we have to select this one. Get this column selected. I click and then click on it property. That is game. That's my column. This is the column that I selected. Click on it property. Paste it here. I mean, place it around there. Okay. Below that, you will get to story two. You need a column here too. Okay. Below that existing column, use it property for these provisions and get these provisions. Alright, so let's not get to the 3D and check that out. So this is it. This is it. So we need a beam at the story one. Okay. So in as we get to story one, we we'll have a beam to connect these provisions successfully. So we go to the plan view. Then supposed to be a beam, yes, a ready beam by click and then Select the property. We will consider this property. This one. This one. I can't leave a beam just like this. After which, we close this. Select this copy beam, beam overload. And then select this beam or the control key to get the new beam we inserted, selected, and paste beam. Copy beam overload. Yeah, just like this. Go to the 3D. Check that out. You will notice we got it right. Just like this. Okay. So for the 10th floor, what we need to do is So here is the cantilever that we inserted this one and this We don't need, we may not necessarily need cantilever at this position so we have to delete this Then it's now beam because this is a roof level for these two cantilevers, okay? So we go to the uh, story We go to the story Story 3 That one And we can even insert it to these provisions by click and click on this property, pick that point, pick this point, and this point. To get that beam inserted. Alright? Then for remove all the release of that token. Alright? After which, you can select that slab, right click and click on the property, then use it here, insertion point, remove it, use beam prison, and then. Zoom closely. And we can be able to insert that successfully. Close this. Alright, so let us navigate to the to the plan view. And then we we'll select this area, the all of this area that has to do with uh, that has to do with the pen floor. From here, these provisions, all of this, it will be All right. After getting that selected, you can navigate to navigate to the do this account, and here we have stories, story operations, generate stories. So we are generating selected only. You can see selected to story, and then click on. To get that process completed successfully closed there so we are not having this this is our story one and this the paint floor okay the slab and as well as the wall with everything is here corrected okay so click on this property of the beam and have this place covered just like this all right for the engine we are engines only this uh, left side we are covered to get that done all right so close this now what we need to add a uh, slab here. Let's navigate to the 3D and see how it looks first. Right, so we are having something of this kind. Alright? We are having something of this kind. So, what we need to do is the wall nodes we are having over this uh, loss, we are going to delete them. I would have it for them. So we have to get that selected like this and then come to this position, doing the one load space options. I get all of that delete successfully, just like this. Okay, for this one at the roof level of uh, story 2, we also get all of this deleted as well. So 
next we need to do is create navigator for ease of uh, removing this wall load the navigator story tree and after which you can choose to select it just this way right click and end we will select delete wall load then the blue option to get this wall load delete it come to these provisions and then place the structure this way we do the same thing just like this right click and then delete wall load um yes option all right so for this one you just select it and delete it all right so we have all of that deleted again at this level we are not having a slab so we have to delete these slabs with the control key and select all the slabs here yeah. Sorry, we need this, this, and that. Also, this labs we delete this one. Right click and click on delete. Alright, so for this roof beam, we will be reducing it to 300. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, you just have to navigate to the story form right there. Okay, expand the view and select the first beam. Come down, hold the shift key, select the last beam. Right click and then you will select uh, the property of the beam. So you can see 450. Select on this edge provisions to get all the uh, columns selected. Click on this uh, edit provisions and then we change it to 350 instead of 450 because it is a real beam. Alright. Just give the program some time to make that change successful. You can see. Click on closed. The same thing will be applicable to this beam. In this provision, this beam is not going to be all. It's going to be some of it, okay, because on that is also carrying the first concrete slabs and the fan floor, right? So we now get to we now get to the story tree and then enable the floor plan. This floor plan. Alright, so now we will now get to the tree. And we have this just like this, okay. We want to be having a, a ground beam for us to do that. We navigate to the story zero. This is story zero, all right. And then we go to the plan view of story zero. This plan beam, uh, plan view, we navigate to the model tab. Click on beam. Plan two to five. By 1300. I said earlier we are using uh, we are using a uh, raft on beam for the foundation, so we get that selected. Then we continue to place the, the beams just like this. Or you have to just delete that. Select one of the beam. Use the property. Continue the instructions.
Alright, so this is our ground beam is going to be. We lay out all the ground beams. Alright, so the next thing is the slab. We are going to place the slab. So we will navigate to modeling type. Select the slab. The slab is going to be 180. Okay, and we want the slab to flush at the uh, at the, uh, at the surface of the ground beam. Okay, so we input 180 like that. Okay, 180 for the slab uh, thickness. Uh, concrete cover we will be considering uh, 40. Increase these provisions to uh, 200. Okay, just like this. Come to the loadings. For the loading itself, weight additional dead load. So we use uh, two for this uh, residential structure. All right, just like this. For us to be able to place this map correctly, we are going to subtract 200 from. Uh, we are going to subtract 1,300. The depth of the foundation from 200. So we have 900. Okay, so we come to these provisions. We are with our uh, um. Related stories come to load. You will see that. Um, we have our related story on these provisions here. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we put the 900, uh, uh, 1100, since the thickness is 200. Okay, if you minus 1300 plus 200, you have 1900. Sorry, 1100. Just like this. Okay, so we start the instructions of the uh, slab. Just like this. Uh, so after which, just have to close the dialogue. So if you have get to the check what you've done so far. You'll see you have something of this. Okay. Transparency uh, is too much. Okay. Transparency is too much. So what we need to do, we have to reduce this transparency. So we have to get to uh, edit settings and then photo settings and then layers and color settings. Right? So in the layers and color settings, we will scroll down. Scroll down to where we have the slabs, so, and then we can be able to adjust this uh, opacity. Right? We can use another uh, this kind of uh, color for that. So we have this. Okay. All right. So we are done with this. So this picture is is now set for other image combinations, analysis, and design. So we, we want to place a wall at this uh, ground beam because there's yes, there's always the walls. Okay on these levels as well okay so we will select this right click and copy this uh, this wall load okay and then we are adding story zero so let's select the fd the foundation beam first one all the switch keys select the last one to get all selected right click and then you can now paste the uh, copy the beam wall load successfully just like that so we have that done just like this okay so this is now set for uh, other loading combinations, other loading combinations, right? We set for other loading combinations. What we need to do now is uh, we will navigate to the loadings and then click on the load case and combinations. In this provision, we are select loadings. We will be considering uh, also a, a reload, so we have to uh, check that check, okay? And then click on okay. so the load these combinations successfully, after which we are not considering this one. Okay, in the next lesson, we will look at this. So, for the wind and story loads, uh, we can come to load calculator. What you just need to provide here is the basic wind speed in meter per second. Over at the side of this project, we have 50 uh, meter per second, and then you can select the uh, air force country the categories. Okay, we have the terrain information to input here. For product out, you can use the default terrain information. So, apply that right and then click on okay so we need to work successfully on this structure the next thing will be settings we will navigate to the analysis tab click on the building analysis and get the project parameters and then we will be able to set the foundations this foundations the foundation the soil bearing capacity is just a 60 cubic meter a square meters the project title for set that layers okay so after which we click on OK. You know this we have done the wind, we have done the next thing is to set the material. So click on the all first for these foundations. For the first ones, we are using 20 square feet, one concrete strength and credit for all. And then for the steel grade, we use 60 by 2 applied for all. 
right? I don't believe that for the foundations. We will select the white wall. The new white wipe system. Going to add to the front. Right, so building analysis is completed successfully. After which, we have to close this. Uh, the two story drive situation which is as fast as we just have to fill this dialog and as well as fill this. If we transfer us to the analytic model, alright, transfer to the analytic model, and this so you can see the uh, analytic model. Okay, we click on the displacement, so I'll be the abandonment, diagram selected. If you choose this entry, you will see the environment. Right. This is the moment in the old structures as well as the share force. Right, just like this. So I have to close this analytic model. Okay. I'm going to close this. So, this all of the members have been designed successfully as the foundations. Alright. So, at this point, we are going to put the members. So, I select this. I put all of the gates. You can see. All these gates have been designed successfully. So this one that is followed, you can see the U ratio is more than one that is right. So we can delete that successfully. Okay, that is not an issue, right? So click on the closed, click the columns as well. See all the columns, uh, all the columns have not been designed. Okay, so since columns have not been designed, what we need to do is we use a batch uh, column design batch mode. So you can select that and then uh, ask the program to check and select uh, new sex new state sections if the Previous one is not uh, uh, sufficient. To do the program sometime to run the analysis of the uh, column members. Well, I'll click on close so you can see so when the column has passed, why some customers are still uh, telling okay, due to the loads. All right. Alright, so if you want to check what actually the issues, you can select any of that and click on Tarakid Designs. Okay, this one has been designed successfully. Carry out the design. Okay, click on OK. And then OK. That is designed. Okay. Well, for this particular one, that the U ratio is uh, about 11. Let's see what is happening there. Okay. Let's click on Tarakid Design. 60 member cannot be selected. Sections size is insufficient. Okay, so this will fall within the area where we have the tent block. That is why, right? So you can just uh, get that at default and to improve this, uh, to increase this uh, sections uh, to 250, uh, 250 by 250, just like this. Update that, and then uh, do iterative design again. See the session has passed. Okay, we have at T20. Right? Click on OK. Okay. So that is what. To be done to each of this and the U ratio is now one okay so the one we've done to each of these ones that are paired so all of this we pass design successfully so let's close this all right so our columns those columns that are failing are basically the ones that are at this uh, floors the pen floors all right so that is not an issue but the design the modeling design analysis analysis and design is done successfully on this structure remaining the foundation designs the slab designs okay which we are going to be looking at that in the next lesson so stay tuned subscribe like the lessons as we will proceed in the next lesson okay so bye for now